Introducing Abrams. If you're looking for a hero that you can play one-handed while stuffing your face with crayons, then this unholy butt baby of Hellboy and Beast is right up your alley. Arbams! This beefy ass dude is the reason Perry exists in the game. My boy Blue here is a great indicator of the skill level of the rest of your team. If they run around like a chicken with their head cut off while getting Schoolhouse rocked by the Necronomicon, and they only ever use their F key to type, this fucker is overpowered. Then look forward to the shit show that will be the rest of the game. Abrams is a tank, and if you couldn't figure that out by looking at his name, then congratulations! You passed the I'm an Abrams main entrance exam. But when I say he's a tank, I mean like a real tank. He doesn't just take damage, he, he dishes it out. Look, you want a real guide on how to play Abrams? Here it is. Go to your options and switch out your Q and your left click. Is that the optimal way to use Abrams? Hell no. But if, if you're playing Abrams, I highly doubt you're concerned with skill ceilings. Is he really that easy to play? No. No, I'm just being a sarcastic asshole because I'm pissed off from getting punched in the face way too many times. If he was that easy, then every Abrams you ever played with would be hard carrying every game. But we all know that shit ain't the truth. If your Abrams is shoulder checking people into the Guardian than 180 punching anyone that comes near using his ultimate to save his team's ass while simultaneously wrecking anyone that's even slightly overextended, well then you've got yourself a Giga Chad Ron Perlman version of Blue Hellboy and you can comfortably strap yourself to his back and ride that cowboy to victory. However, if you're like 12 minutes into the game and fucking David Harbour over here has ziplined speed boosted into a majestic leap infused ultimate into four full elf enemy heroes under their own guardian all while shouting in comms, guys, you gotta back me up when I initiate, while you're like literally a full city block behind him, then get ready to try and grab that bull by the horns and attempt to carry his heavy ass across the finish line. Let's take a look at his kit. His weapon is a shotgun revolver loaded with 9 rounds of who gives a shit because you're just going to be punching people anyway. Abram's first ability is called Siphon Life, channeling your inner thought with daddy issues and suck off everyone in a 10 foot radius, as if you needed more reasons not to get close to this giant blue asshole. His second ability is Shoulder Charge and it does exactly what you think. He charges forward Reinhardt style carrying targets with him. He then smashes them into the wall and has non-consensual sex with their mouth and butt, hopefully in that order. Actually, if the Deadlock Discord is believed, it's always consensual. Sex with Abrams? Yes, please. Abrams 3 is a passive because hitting extra buttons is hard. Inferno Resilience allows Abrams to regen a portion of damage taken. This is the reason he's so goddamn hard to kill and why you should stop being a baby and like drop some souls in Hillbane or something if you're facing him. Siphon Bullets is also a pretty good counter and it comes with the extra bonus of getting to watch an Abrams player look super confused as to why he's suddenly dying so fast in team fights. Seismic Impact is his ultimate ability and the only reason that I know there are stupid fucking signs sticking out the sides of some of the buildings. I would have known this had I ever played Vitekta or Grey Talon, but if I wanted to aim, I wouldn't be playing Abrams. That's right, as much shit as I've talked, I play him too, and I'm a David Harbour level Abrams, so hope to god you never have to play with me. Seismic Impact lets you jump up in the air and crash down, stunning and damaging in a radius around you. He also gets unstoppable because, I, fuck you, that's why. Counter Abrams by just pressing your F key every once in a while. Even if you fuck up the parry, an Abrams that knows that you can parry is far less likely to go all Mike Tyson on your ass. Also, pick up Hillbane or Decay. Don't sit there and complain about how you can't deal any damage to him when you're doing absolutely nothing to negate his healing. Yeah, it sucks that you can't follow your build path to the letter, but Heal Bane or Decay is going to work against all sorts of heroes, and it's especially good against Abrams. I'm sick of people complaining loudly about certain heroes, and then they build absolutely nothing to counter them. It's even worse when they're the ones shouting how everybody else should build it, and you look at their items and they're just all full on damage. Abrams is a great barometer for your skill level. He'll absolutely stomp on low skill teams by simply knocking the dog shit out of everyone and face checking the enemy team going 1v6 once he has a significant enough soul lead. Move up and match making a little bit and you'll find people will actually parry him and he gets absolutely destroyed so his efficacy sort of falls off. But, but, you move up just a little bit more and all of a sudden he's building items to negate the parry mechanic and also realizing that his shotgun has stupidly overpowered damage and he will once again go on full tears of forcing the enemy team to all have to band together just to take him down. Find out that Perry has a cooldown when facing Abrams in Deadlock today. Man, goo.